Hi, my name is Garrett, working on a martial arts combat and exploration game called Strong by 3. This week I worked on the dying and respawning of the player, and it's pretty simple, but I just wanted to kind of get more of a feel um, for the interaction with the enemies, you know, taking damage, dying, and respawning. And it was nice to actually do that because it revealed some bad practices I had whenever referencing the player in other scripts, um, so I made like a player manager for that. Um, and just generally want to try to get the game to be a little bit more playable um, So it actually makes sense that the player can actually die and respawn um, So I started to get that working just trying to figure out just general how it's gonna all Fit together how it's gonna work with the enemies uh, figuring out some enemy timings as well um, so work went into to getting that pretty set just trying to make that a little bit more seamless um, and actually actually get <laughs> some sort of imp implementation into the game and, uh, and like most weeks it seems, I kind of just had another shader graph moment where I, uh, I messed around with the skybox a lot. Um, I was looking at the, the interstellar black hole and got inspired um, by that to make some more nebulas in, in the skybox itself. And I think it might be a good thing um, because with the, the nebula model I currently have with the islands, that it does look cool, um, but it is, you know, definitely a performance hit. Um, and it's not even that high poly of a model. Um, so I'm thinking maybe if I can incorporate more into the skybox that's, you know, maybe a little bit less detailed but can still look cool in the skybox, it will help my performance a little bit even though I'm I'm not too, uh, I don't want to say not too concerned with it right now, but um, not too focused on it right now. Um, so I think just experimenting with that, and again, like I was doing with the colors, just kind of playing around to see what kind of looks cool. Um, and I've always loved using Shader Graph, so, uh, so I don't really find it to be a waste of time. If you'd like to know more, you can head on over to Discord. I'm more than happy to talk with any of you guys. So thank you for watching. I love you forever. And I'm coming back next week.